just uh, we got picked up in a van, like a like a delivery maintenance van, with an uh, older white lady, someone that looked like her son or her boyfriend that was about to go in the army, and like a shady Mexican guy in the back seat. We pulled over. She got into a truck, like a 18-wheeler truck, and drove away. Her son went into Walmart, and then Oncho, the guy in the back, got in the front, uh, threatened our cameraman to turn the camera off, or else. And then uh, we, we didn't talk that much, but we found out, A, he has no sense of direction, which he's proud of, but he's also a delivery man, so that that's, sort of doesn't go together. And then two, he lives in Nevada, but his parole is in Arizona which is where we are now, standing in front of the American flag, the USA. One, two, three, go. at any point in the ride? No. Nope. Even like when we were like, you know, doing funny stuff? No. Nope. Okay. All right, I guess he wasn't scared and I guess he was nice enough to give us a ride. Thank you, we appreciate it. You're welcome. It's day four, we're in Flagstaff, Arizona. We got into uh, some small town in Arizona last night and had a, it's dark already, so we had a real, really tough time getting out. We were standing out there for quite a bit. We made a, a sign, we couldn't find too much cardboard. Had no luck with our Flagstaff sign, and uh, no offense to our gay viewers, but uh, the second I made this adjust adjustment, um, we got picked up in uh, immediately in about 30 seconds. Um, I don't think Laz was gay, but yeah, I don't think he even noticed the sign, but it's just one of those things that went that way. So this sign's pretty useless now. Uh, we're in Flagstaff now, where I guess a lot of hippies uh, live here, and uh, the locals here don't really like them. They call them tree huggers. Um, I don't know if uh, we're gonna catch a train out or hop out of here. Yesterday was a little tough. Um, you see those uh, dudes over there by the porter potty by the train track, so I think we're gonna go talk to them. Hi, um, so it looks like we have a, uh, you know, kindred spirits along the side of the road here. Um, we have fellow travelers, you guys. Uh, we're from Canada. We're you're, they're Canadians. Yeah. Montreal. We come from Montreal. You guys hitchhiked all over Canada before? Uh, no. I, I did. You did? No, not all over, but I did few provinces. And, and now that you're hitchhiking with a woman, it's uh, you get rides faster? I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it's Obviously. <laughs> oh yeah, but everything is going pretty well. And you know what? That was crazy because we've been in a desert and we found people and they, they gave uh, food to us and place to stay for free Ooh. and they gave to us money and they have food and everything. Wow, they were nice? Oh, yeah. yeah. They were all and nice. I was scared to make it hiking in USA because it's not our country. And yeah. I was like, maybe we will get problem. But you know, life is good. And there is an angel somewhere in the oh, sky yeah. for us. So they, yeah, they help us. Yeah. That's the road angel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long has it been since you left? Pardon? How long has it been since you left your home? Uh, One year for me. Yeah, I left the for two months. What's, uh, what's the plan? Where are you guys going? How lo far and long are you going oh, We travel? don't know. We don't know. We have to get Montreal. Yeah. And we don't have a lot of money. So it's just... I have 35 bucks. Yeah. Oh, Till wow. there. Yeah. <laughs> we just hope that we're going we're gonna to get a ride soon and we're going to get it home soon. Yeah. And we're proud of what we got here. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Thank you so for everything. Nice. Road so Warriors. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Fellow kindred spirits. Uh, trying to catch a ride off the 40 East to go into Albuquerque. Uh, I, I saw this spot also and I thought this would be a good spot to hit, hitch out, out of and then I saw your hat and I said, oh, there's someone else there too. And you've been you've been here uh, since about 8 o'clock in the morning. I got up at daylight, went down 
I had enough money to get me a cup of coffee, got a cup of coffee, and I walked up here. I've been here since then. If you haven't gotten a ride in like, you know, eight hours, you don't move to a different spot and you just... There's no place else to move to. Right? I should walk a long ways, but that backpack, I don't want to walk a long ways. What, it's what's, heavy. Your, what's your story? Like, where are you, where are you trying to get to? Where are you I'm trying to get from? to uh, El Paso. Is there a reason why you're trying to get there? I stay there every winter. I'm homeless, so I stay there during the winter because the winter's mild there. Right. Well, so, so, like, you migrate towards the temperatures, like... Yeah. And the people that give you rides, they're nice, they're mean, yeah. they're weird. Most, no, well, you get a few weird ones, but most of them's all nice. I had no problem. Can you problem. tell us one of the weirdness? Gays trying to pick you up, or they're just some of them act like they're a little drunk, they're just weird actors. All right, well, would you rather us hitchhike behind you or in front yeah, of you? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. You, if you want to go up there, you can. But. Well, I mean, if we get picked up before you, then I'll, I'll for sure tell them to pick you up, also, you know. So, out of respect, we're letting uh, Grandpa take the prime real estate hitchhiking spot. We, uh, we're like sort of assholes and we're trying to cut him off at the pass and uh, trying to get a ride earlier. But if we get a ride, of course, we'll give Grandpa a ride too. It looks like he just almost got a ride, but then I guess they weren't going where he's going, so he's back out, out over there. But I, I like our anywhere but here sign because Flagstaff is it's no good here. It's bad, bad mojo. trying to catch a ride off the 40 East to go into Albuquerque uh, because Flagstaff is it's no good here. It's bad, bad mojo. Thanks for picking us up. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem at all. Jump, Jump on in. And, uh, I, I told you we'd get it. Back there oh, okay, yeah, we'll throw it back there. Alright, one big happy family. What's up? That's awesome. Look at this. Wow, boy. I dropped off one guy in town here in Flag. Picked up four more. How about it? That's awesome. So what do you guys got going on? You know, we're just trying to we're just trying to get as far as we can get. You know. Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make it as far as Atlanta. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are pretty um, pretty styling as far as rides go. If you guys are into it, you know. I'm well, we're we're that's awesome. But we're trying to like you know get as many different rides as possible. Wow. You know. <laughs> really, that's sick. So how far are you guys gonna rip with me then? Do uh, I get boring or what? No, no, no. We're, 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 it's not that. We just want to stop in every state, you know. You guys are hitching masters. <laughs> you know, check you guys out. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit like what your story is like? Have you hitchhiked before? Obviously, you've picked up hitchhikers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've hitched quite a bit, man. You know, you know, on the East Coast and on the West Coast. Uh, it's not so bad on the West Coast, you know, but I think they made a lot of movies back in the late 80s about hitchhikers killing people so everybody's right. scared to death not to mention you know the media's got everybody so scared shitless of each other's shadows these days that you know where nobody wants to pick up anybody for jack that's the same feeling i get is just sometime during the 80s like two or three people got killed but people forget that like everyone used to hitchhike and everyone used to give rides and it was no problem yeah, and man. then you know they blow something out of proportion and you know i've hitchhiked for years and i've never really had any you know, major, you get picked up by weirdos, but like nothing, you know, if you're, if you're out, you know, out of luck and you need a ride, you know, it's, it's nice, you know. Well, this is Donald, and he's been telling me about how for the last four years, he's been homeless, so he's kind of become like a U.S. traveler. One thing I mean, about homeless, you know, a lot of, you know, get broke and you, you get hard times, but life's full of hard times anyhow. You got to go through bad, you have good, you know, times, all that. But, uh, in, a, in a way, I'm free because I don't have to worry about nothing really just surviving of being alive Where, where's home base for you uh right here my man oh you're from you're in it you're from uh flagstaff no i'm, I'm from uh, my dolphin right here I'm from my oh RV. this is it yeah man you know yeah i think everyone that works like an office job secretly desires the uh what exactly what you're doing you know like fuck it jump in your car get your dog yeah. Live, live from place to place where you lay your head is home. Just go wherever you go. New adventures, new, new yeah. things. You know, everybody wants it, man. But but you know, there's fewer and fewer people who are willing to do what it takes in order to to succeed at their dreams and you know and live a fulfilled life, man. You know, so I'm just trying to take advantage of you know my life is all. Right. You know, not take it for granted and appreciate you know this beautiful gift we call life. You know. Right. So other than that, my man, let's uh. That's about it. I worked for a while, saved up some money, and now I'm just, you know, just doing doing my thing. Was it know? a girl? 
just kind of create my scene. What's that? Was it a girl? Oh, this is the only girl for me right here. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Angus. We're, we, uh, this guy's like basically a hitchhiking paradise. He picks up everyone. Uh, he's living in the present. Basically, our entire trip can end right here. He basically offered us a ride to the other side of the country. Um, so we'll see if we do that. We have another guy down here that uh, we're going to pick up. So it's still a sausage fest right now, but we'll see how, how it goes. Is he holding a dog? Where, where are you from? Where are you headed? Uh, Green Bay. Green Bay? Yeah. So who's driving, y'all? Um, hey, brother. Do you know how to drive stick? Yeah. You want to drive? Sure. like uh, the Noah's Ark of uh, hitchhiker, hitchhikers. We picked up two guys and two dogs also. So total there's uh, five, five hitchhikers on there and one awesome guy named Waylon. Kindred Spirits just picked us up, picks up all hitchhikers. Doesn't care if uh, they're carrying a trash bag full of french fries or smell like shit, he'll pick anyone up. And uh, you know, weed seems to be the common theme uh, of all the travelers. Um, Grandpa here has a huge weed tattoo on his arm. The other fellow, I forgot his name, was stranded out on the street because he had a weed deal with his cousin that went bad, so his cousin got a, had a hissy fit and threw him out. And then Waylon, who actually enjoys weed, but then uh, doesn't smoke it anymore. He's got his own uh, spiritual dilemma going on right now. And all around, good guys. So we're uh, in this 60 miles outside of Albuquerque in our longest ride so far. Um, in four days, we've gone through California, uh, Nevada, Arizona, and now we're in New Mexico, you know, a place called Moriarty. And it was funny because uh, the guy that picked us up and one of the other guys that we picked up, you know, we were all the 30. Those two guys still, you know, they're, you know, they're wandering souls, but they still like live at home with their parents. And uh, besides uh, weed and uh, drywalling, uh, they all had funny tattoos. Great guys, though, really cool guys. It's about midnight right now, and we're at a truck stop, so we'll see what this town has to offer. Thumbs up. Hi, this is David Cho, and this is Thumbs Up. This is day five on our journey. We are uh, still in New Mexico. Yesterday, we rode for 12 hours. We got a ride with a nice fellow named Waylon Powers, and then we picked up uh, Grandpa, and then we also picked up can't remember his name, strong, silent type, uh, looked like Paul Newman. Paul Newman didn't say much for most of the ride, unless it had anything to do with construction work or drywalling, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes out with, uh, uh, I think uh, I tend to fall in love really easily if the pussy's really good, where uh, Waylon comes in with, oh man, it's just the box, man, it's just the box. You gotta deny yourself the box, man. Deny yourself the weed, the beer, and the pussy, and that's how you empower yourself. Um, I guess we all had that, that in common, is that uh, we all tend to fall in love with the box, fall in love with the pussy if it's really good. I guess, I don't know if that's love or not, but uh, that was that. So we're gonna try to get to Texas today. So, uh, hi, we're in the town of uh, Moriarty. And this is in New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. <laughs> Everyone, uh, introduce yourselves. I'm Bubba. That's Bubba. I'm Vanessa. Vanessa. I'm Susie. I'm Chris. Pumpkin. Amanda. <laughs> so you guys want to tell us a little bit about this town? What goes on here? It's very small. A lot of drinking. A lot of drinking. Oh, everyone's oh. waiting for the liquor store to open on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how many minutes? Does open. The average age in Moriarty to start drinking is like six. What's wow. what, what's the population here? No, about 2,200 right now. All right. Like, were you guys all born and raised in this town, or? You Fuck no. no. <laughs> <laughs> You're no. fucking funny. No. Tex Texas. Texas, yeah. Texas. Born and bred, huh? Which 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 city? What? These two were born in Albuquerque. He was born in Florida. Yeah. I don't know where he was born at. 
I was born, was born in off. hell. No. So you guys seem to be, to come from various parts of purgatory, hell, and yes. other parts of the south. What brings you to? What brought you guys to? These are my two daughters and my two son-in-laws. Oh. And my husband. And, and so why'd you guys pick this town? Because we hate Albuquerque. New Mexico sucks. Texas is better. Texas is better, God man. bless Texas. So this is what one is. We were out here, we were looking for land, and right. we were looking like in Blaine and all that stuff, and looking for land here. We came out here on his Harley, no less, huh? Right. And a 10-year-old boy held the door open for me. Wow. And stood there and said, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And I was like, this is where we're moving. Just like that. Just like that. So you guys all drink together as a family? I don't drink. know. I do. I've never touched a drop of alcohol in my life. The girls <laughs> can't drink because they're both expecting some. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, wow, congratulations. Thanks. They call me pumpkin for one reason, because I, I was born in McCall's pumpkin patch, lost in Keller's motherfucking farm. This is why they call me pumpkin, because I run with the wicked shit, hitting everybody else. Doing nothing but that acid trip, don't give a fuck, wanna fall down all around, motherfucker. You see WC representing wicked clown, slit your throat, watch you die, motherfucker, hope you croak. Don't give a fuck on how many motherfuckers you wanna try to vote, because I ain't bad. Beat you down with a fucking fifth in my hand. Be truly fucking glad. Don't give a shit. Slit your throat. Watch you fucking die. Don't give a shit. Smoking this J. Saying that you're motherfucking hot. Beat your ass all around. Smoking all that grass. Cause I am the wicked shit. Remember that all around when you hit this fucking blast. Wow. Wow. Amazing. You guys start early. Yep. Why not? No, you you start early. early. No, you go to El Paso. They start at like in the morning. <laughs> Wait, so you guys are smashed by like two in the afternoon? There's only two of us that get smashed, him and him. And none of this leads to violence? Nope, nope. No, nope. I do got a lot of misdemeanors. Back here again. I nope. do got a lot of criminal charges. <laughs> no felonies? No felonies. That's good. That's a lot of criminal charges, that's all. Yeah. All misdemeanors, all misdemeanors. Well, it was nice meeting you all. We're at a, a freeway underpass right now. We're trying to hop out, hopefully get into a different state by today. Um, we have uh, some really classic graffiti here that I'm gonna try to decipher for you. I can't, it, it doesn't get more perfect than this. First we have the pentagram with the 666, with the pitchfork, the swastika, and an upside down cross. Here we have an abstract cow, and then of course uh, Metallica. Another swastika, awesome job. Hammer, white power, and the classic graffiti S yes, that everyone draws when they're in uh, high school. And this is, I don't know if this is exactly how it happened, but this is how I imagine it happened in my mind. I'm guessing a uh, white power, white trash, gutter punk couple was up here getting drunk, spray painting. And in those past two columns, the male who's usually more aggressive was painting the swastikas and the 666. And his girlfriend was like, I took one of the cans and came over here and did the Pac-Man ghosts. So here's the Pac-Man ghosts, which are much more friendlier and more lighthearted. Oh my goodness, look at what I found. It doesn't, I thought it couldn't get better than this. A Chinaman, a Chinaman with, uh, with the only other color. I mean, so far all the graffiti's been in black, but they broke out the, the metallics for this one. It's a buck tooth Chinaman with a coolie cap on and someone crossed him out saying no Chinaman with silver paint and right there we have of course the classic human shit. We're having a really tough time catching out of this part of town, so we're breaking out the instruments who Jacinto, our cameraman, has been carrying for us this whole time. Um, we're going to play our uh, golden medley, the one that usually gets us picked up, which is uh, a fusion of uh, Guns N' Roses' Mr. Brownstone, The Police's Every Breath You Take, and uh, whatever uh, Led Zeppelin song Harry decides uh, moves him at the moment.
We rock Mortieri, New Mexico. We rock California. We rock Nevada. Is Texas going to rock us? Or will we rock Texas? Find out in Thumbs Up next issue. We're in New Mexico still. New Mexico, Texas. A lot of fucking cows. We're getting hungry. We're going to try to catch one, try to jump on one. God bless John Wayne. So as the day comes to a close, uh, l many lessons to learn. A, uh, we, as humans, we can't even run as fast as chickens or cows. Uh, we were in a beautiful town of uh, Tucumcari, New Mexico. We were in uh, Moriarty, uh, New Mexico earlier today where we met a, an amazing, beautiful family. Well, I mean, they were something really special. They were beautiful human beings. Um, we learned lots of things from them that going to the liquor store in two different cars early on a Sunday morning is a family affair and, you know, it's great, you know, family sticking close together. Uh, we learned that uh, if you're a 15 or 16 year old woman um, that's pregnant, that's carrying, that's holding, you shouldn't drink, but it's okay to smoke. We pretty much fucking rocked this town. We came in, we rocked it hard. The chickens got rocked, the cows got rocked, the locals got rocked. And uh, that's about all I have to say about that. Sorry to bother you, but uh, uh, this is me and my friend. We're the two guys that just played in the bar right here. Do you think? Uh, I mean, I, I I think we could fit. Do you think you'd give us a ride into Texas? Is where? To Texas? Yeah. We just go east. I mean, just anywhere. Just we've been in town for so long. We just want to get a ride out. Yeah. Thank you. It's uh, 2 in the morning, uh, we just uh, entered uh, Amarillo, Texas, God bless Texas, we are in Texas, things get weird in Texas. Um, it's uh, one of my favorite 24-hour uh, diners that doesn't exist in California. Surprisingly, we haven't hit one of them since our whole journey and this is the first one in Texas. And our uh, waitresses, very nice, very kind, very shy, would not go on camera. As we were paying the check, I asked them because this place is known to have the most insane people coming in at all hours. And I just asked them, who are the worst people ever that come in here? And I thought she was gonna say drunks or something. All the waitresses at the same time chime in, the blacks, the blacks, okay, and uh, explain why. So the reasons why the blacks are the worst, they're, and this is not just when, at four in the morning when they're drunk, it's at all hours. They're annoying, they're loud, uh, and why they choose not IHOP or Denny's is because chicken and waffles and it's cheap and so according to Texas Amarillo the blacks are the worst people I disagree besides truck stops 24-hour super mega marks can be a, a haven for drifters like us uh, and I will show you why in one second come on follow me let's go Besides the awesome savings, when you get here late at night, everyone here is cracked out, including the workers, so 
pretty much let you get away with murder. Get the awesome ride. And then we'll be a good place to sleep. Remember these things? This fun game when you played when you were kids? Uh, you know, you just open up and you go to sleep. Good night. <laughs>